Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting the Beast of Nurgle with Citadel Contrast Colors. This video, we are going to work on the belly. Volpulus, 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 pink is going to be our color first. And basically, we are going to take a fairly generous amount into our brush and apply it into the recesses inside the mouth. Now, we're not too worried about hitting the teeth. As you can see here, I take a damp brush and begin kind of blending out a bit of the color as I'm kind of testing out to see uh, if I like the gums and such kind of in this reddish tone. Shyish purple is next. I'm going to use two brushes. I'm going to use one to apply the color and then another one that's damp to feather out the color. And I've shown this in previous uh, examples on this little series that we're doing for this guy. So I think uh, I don't really need to explain this uh, too heavily. But I'm laying that shyish purple inside the uh, very deepest point of the mouth and then blending and feathering out the edges uh, out towards the little teeth shapes inside there. Back to our pink color here and line it around the edges of the uh, gums and such of uh, the whole uh, mouth detail. I also begin applying it to the uh, little boils and such uh, around the, uh, the gums. I take another brush and feather out the edges again, creating a bit of a transition uh, to create kind of a, a look of irritation in the skin and, you know, just kind of increasing the uh, gross factor. And then while I'm at it, I begin applying the color into the uh, open sores and around the other boils as we work our way around. So uh, basically we're just kind of filling in these uh, spaces as we're working our way around the model. And again, anywhere it's too heavy, I just simply uh, take a damp brush and begin feathering out the color. Uh, and again, as long as you're very quick about it, you can eliminate any kind of tide marks and stuff like that. So uh, again, you know, it allows you to uh, really kind of uh, take the opportunity to practice uh, feathering and blending and uh, fun techniques like that. Pink Horror is next. We're going to slap a little bit onto our palette. We're going to switch over to a detail brush and begin laying this onto the high points inside the mouth. Now, the reason for using this color here is I kind of want a slightly brighter pink inside the mouth. And I'm going to also apply it around the uh, gum line uh, in the uh, wound here. I assume it's gums. I don't know. It could. It might not be gums. It might be the fat in his body. I have, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. <laughs> so... We're just gonna lay that pink in there just to keep that nice organic and gross look. I'm gonna use Changeling Pink. This is the dry Citadel Dry. I'm gonna use a small dry brush here and I'm just gonna lightly dry brush the, uh, the gum line as it were. We're just gonna keep calling it the gum line. And again, we can see I'm applying inside the mouth as well. I'm kind of trying to keep a bit of the brush stroke in towards the central point inside that mouth where it basically goes down into the throat. Next, we're gonna take Wraith Bone. Basically, what we're going to do is going to slap this onto the palette, and we are going to begin applying this to all the teeth. Now, the one thing I'm not going to end up showing here is applying it to the teeth inside the mouth, as uh, I really had kind of had to pick up the model and take a careful look at what I was doing, so I wasn't able to apply, uh, show that on camera, but through the magic of editing, you'll see right there that the teeth are painted. Magical, I know. So... Next is Skeleton Horde. I really like this color for doing bone-like effects, and we are going to apply this somewhat generously on the teeth inside the mouth. And basically, you can just lay this right in there, and it's really fantastic, And because uh, you can pretty much just do it in one go. And like we do it around the teeth, around the edges of the mouth, and like like magic it just happens we let it dry we're going to come back in with wraith bone slap a little bit onto our palette i'm going to grab a small dry brush and basically we're just going to catch just the uh, big teeth and we're concentrating our brush strokes on the tops or the top ends of the teeth so that they get brighter towards the ends we're not going to worry about the inside mouth teeth because uh, we're going to have those slightly darker and it just allows them to kind of push kind of back we're going to come in with some pink horror and mix that into the remainder of the wraith bone and we're gonna create a little highlight color here uh, for our gum line. And basically I'm just gonna go and hit the high rounded points inside the gums here. Probably some of the little boils as well, but otherwise I'm just going for just some of the high points. Again, just kind of bring in a bit more brightness and contrast. And uh, oh yeah, I still hit the uh, esophagus in the back as well. Finally, we're gonna come back in with uh, Volopus Pink. And basically we're just gonna create a little bit more contrast uh, 
from the gum line. Basically, we're just using our detail brush here and we're laying this along the edge where the flesh and the gum line meet so that we're getting just a nice little break and a kind of an obvious kind of separation between the, the mouth and the rest of the belly, kind of like it's just opened up and oh, it's this big scary mouth inside of his belly. So that'll be it. And of course, once we just finish that and we're not gonna feather it out or anything, we're just gonna leave it as is. And there we are, that is the belly mouth on our beast of Nurgle. Next we might work on is maybe the face. Thank you for watching. Happy Wargaming. Uh, 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 uh.